I've been living in Los Angeles for 25 years. Lately, however, this town has become impossible to afford. You see that tent underneath the Gower overpass? That's considered a one-bedroom apartment now. We're out of water. I live in a $4,000 shoebox near the freeway. I'm inhaling two packs of smog a day. <coughs> this place is disgusting. Not to mention, I'm trying to raise a family here. Trump has ended California's smog-reducing emissions. Another mass shooting in America. 65% of Americans are not of health insurance. Drugs, Percocet, murder, money, pussy, weed. Drugs, Percocet, murder, money, pussy, weed. So this week, me and the family are packing it in and heading to Greece to see if perhaps the Aegean Sea is more welcoming than the Pacific Ocean. My name is Zach Selwyn. I'm just looking for a better place to raise my family. So each week, I'm running up my credit card bills and scouting out my future home. Who knows where I'll end up? I'm out of here, man. Greece is known for its islands, rich history, hospitality, and Giannis Antetokounmpo which, of course, was the main selling travel point for my 13-year-old NBA-obsessed son. What are you looking forward to doing in Greece? I just want to see where Giannis was conceived. My first stop was the Athens Flea Market, where I tried to score some off-white, knock-off Giannis jerseys, and, of course, bootleg socks from Superm. Baby, what do you think about Greece, all this history? Huh? Can we get a doggy? Yeah. All right, how do I say thank you in Greece? Ευχαριστώ. 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 All right, ευχαριστώ, my ευχαριστώ. friend. Me too, my friend. Thank you. Ευχαριστώ. I met up with my old college friend, Pano, who was originally from Greece. He moved back to Athens in 2000. Yeah, that's a picture of us at the Acropolis back in 1996. We grabbed a couple of beers and went to our 120 euro a night Airbnb. Oh, which, by the way, had a convertible roof. Should I move to Greece? Yeah. Yeah, why? Because it's the best country in the world. Is this the best country in the world? You don't have to stress that much. I've noticed that. Been here 24 hours. You won't make money. Okay, I don't make any money. So you don't have to stress about that anymore. Fantastic. How do you say strip club in Greek? String. What's going on in the government in this country? Because I know there was just recently a change in parties or government or something happened. Yeah, okay, that's a good point because that comes after the second the previous question. You keep it down, Mom! Oh, did I forget to mention that my mom tagged along? I need a glass of Chardonnay. So let's say I move here and I really want Greek citizenship. Do my kids need to go to the army for nine months? Yes. Hell no. I can't accept that. Ultimately, Athens was a little too much like L.A. Traffic, smog, and people running around like crazy. So Pano had a better idea. Uh, you gotta get the islands. I gotta get to the islands? Yeah. Let's go to the islands. <laughs> Finally made it to the beautiful island of Santorini. Santorini was formed when a volcano erupted over 700 years ago. The views are breathtaking. Plus, you can get those little fish to eat your feet. That's... I'm, I'm done. Looks like they have influencers here, too. Do it for the gram, girl. One thing I love about Greece are the baths. Look at this place. <laughs> and then there's the food, which luckily I love. The Mediterranean diet, how hard can that be? I was about to eat my second favorite food in the world. Number one, of course, being Ruffles cheddar and sour cream chips. I'm talking about Greek salads. Ah. This is my 15th Greek salad in two days. <laughs> Fucking bus almost ran me over. The problem with this island is that it's damn expensive. So unless your name is Stavros and you own some Greek shipping company, it might be tough to make a living here. I mean, I guess I could make jewelry. I could drop some bars over a bazooki. Uh, what should I do with my family here on Santorini? I have no idea, man. I just got here yesterday. And like every great foreign country, you can drink openly in the streets. That could be a problem for me. Ooh, okay. that's very dangerous, sir. All right, guys, what do you think? Could we uh, live in Greece? Um, no. How about you? I want to see my friends. I understand, I do too. The good news is about you Greece. Have hey, you're a trash you motherfucker. Have Listen, Santorini, I love you, 
but I gotta move on. Santorini was incredible, but my kids really wanted to see some beaches. So we hopped a ferry to Milos. It's nothing like getting that VIP treatment when you arrive in a new port. Spell my name wrong. Can I get an Uber or a Lyft or something? We don't have Uber here. That's gonna be a problem. So there's no Uber, there's a bunch of feral cats running around, which is horrible for my allergies, and oh, did I mention you can't flush your toilet paper here? Still, as we made our way into the island, it looked gorgeous. Until... Alright, we made it to Milos. Uh, this is the address. Suddenly, what do you think of our uh, Airbnb? Freaking trash. Luckily, that was the wrong address. When we found our actual place, it was beach accessible. My kids were in heaven. Milos is home of some of the most beautiful beaches in the world, including this place, which I just can't pronounce. Do it for the gram, bro! I feel like I'm in the Goonies or something. These caves lead to one-eyed willy. As my son kept up his search for Giannis, we finally came upon a basketball court in the town of Polonia. This is the court that Giannis played on when he was a little kid. Well, that's cash. All right, I'll be honest with you. This doesn't suck. This might be my home. You guys want to move here? What do you guys think? You guys Come on! The Greek salad. Yeah. It's all in the feta, baby. You got a big thing of feta and it's good? You put it in a piece of cardboard and I'd eat it. Afaristo? Eferisto. Eferisto? I'm a barista. How do you pronounce this? Zavori. That's my name. Zachary. Not to mention, their butter looks like boobs. Butter boobs. As a parent, there's nothing better than seeing your kids appreciate the beauty of nature. Yeah, well, some beach days are better than others. A little windy out here. Here goes my dog. Wine tasting. Yes. You drinking red fucking wine? Afaristo. I'm learning. To Greece, what do you think? Can we live here? Yes, I could live here. Yes. You could live here? On 600 yeah. without our parents. <laughs> I'm sorry, is our waiter barefoot? This was one of our favorites. The next day, we explored one of the most stunning places I have ever been on planet Earth. This was not the brightest idea to bring my cell phone into the middle of the ocean, but hey, gotta get them shots. Hey baby, how'd you like this beach? Puffy, puffy. That's all she talks about. I actually met a woman on the beach who had moved to Greece recently from America. Uh, what's the name of this beach we're at right now? This is Pyropotamus. 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 Yeah. I was saying it all wrong. I was calling it Phyropotamus. <laughs> Tell me about what's going on here. I mean, it's one o'clock. We have a cigarette and an Aperol Sprit. What's that thing called? It's only because they ran out of Diet Coke, so. Oh, those bastards. Yeah. They ran out of Diet Coke? They did. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. What kind of beach we run in here, guys? Yeah, you know. The bottom line was, even though I was halfway across the world, the locals all seemed to want to talk to me about what it was like to live in Hollywood, including this guy who claimed to look like Sylvester Stallone. Oh, yes, they told me that I look like Stallone. You look Stallone. like Stallone? Let me you see? see? I think you're better looking. Really? Yeah, like I'm a better looking Bradley Cooper. Certainly. In the end, there were a lot of pros and a lot of cons about why I should or should not move to Greece. My daughter, however, had one big takeaway from the trip. Puppy, please. Puppy, please. All right, Greece, listen, it's been an incredible journey. My family and I, thank you. Next week, however, I think we're gonna check out Spain. After all, my three favorite things in the world are Rioja, tapas, and bullfighting. What can go wrong? <laughs>